All right, so it looks like the highly anticipated Vultures Yeezy merch, the orders are starting to arrive. So in today's video, we're gonna go over some very first initial impressions. And it also looks like the merch did contain a hidden design element that I actually had no clue about. So before we get things started, I'm currently on the road to 66,000 subscribers. So for anybody watching, if you would like to help me get a little closer to that goal, you already know, please consider subscribing down below. So to kick things off, it looks like Ye and his wife Beyond they were spotted out and about for a little casual stroll in LA the other night and let's just say from the images captured the outfit choices here are just uh, let's call them interesting so it looks like Bianca she's in like a full leather dominatrix type get up yay he's rocking a couple layers the pants do look similar to uh, those Yeezy pants that we've seen him rocking lately but I believe these are 424 jeans the top you got a quarter sleeve on top of a three-quarter sleeve which kind of gives a cool layering effect so i think overall the fits while they're a little bit odd you know do come across with a cool look and then of course as far as the boots goes everybody zoomed in to try to figure out what yay's rocking on feet as usual and uh, it looks like the detectives have dug up that this is actually a pair of bunny boots or commonly known as mickey mouse boots um, which are the most common nicknames for the extreme cold vapor barrier boots is what they're called so these large boots are rubber waterproof and can be worn in extremely cold weather less than 20 degrees to 60 degrees fahrenheit originally designed during the korean war for military expeditions in extremely cold weather so of course it's so yeah he had to dig up a pair of vintage boots you know to get a little inspo and of course he had to remove the laces so it looks like that continues as a trend no laces for yeezy moving forward into 2020 so I gotta say overall really cool look and it looks like again Ye is tapping into that vintage military type of vibe to get inspiration so he's been rocking uh, I believe he had those Balenciaga boots on the other day he's now got these Mickey Mouse boots so maybe he's doing a little product testing hopefully taking the uh, direction of Yeezy into uh, maybe a design direction for a new pair of boots only the future could tell but I gotta say overall the look on these two is uh, pretty cool different you know but i would say cool kind of giving like uh superhero vibes or something like that almost like these two are you know from an alternate universe like the avengers or something like that so overall uh if i was a millionaire this is how i would like to dress myself so pretty cool look from the two and uh it's just good to see them out and about you know doing their thing and how many of y'all would want to bet that yeah uh dress bianca here for this situation so i know my boy's feet gotta be sweating like crazy in them big ass mickey mouse boots and i guess this is gonna be the new trend i'm sure everybody's on ebay or grail right now trying to get themselves a pair of vintage mickey mouse army boots or whatever but i think they're a cool look and i definitely love like the big you know huge uh exaggerated type of look on the footwear so overall two thumbs up for me now as far as this vultures merch now we've got confirmation that the uh, clothing items as well as the pods have shipped but to my knowledge i don't believe anybody has actually received their pods aka the yeezy sock shoes that it seems like everybody seems to hate them joints but as far as the clothing there was uh two t-shirts so you had the uh short sleeve you had the long sleeve i believe the short sleeve was like a quarter length and then the long sleeve should be like a three quarter length kind of like what yay's been rocking lately and then you had had some pants as well as shorts and then it looks like the merch were available in a black or white option now my man t3 from the ja discord he did send over uh an image of the black joint which we'll get into here shortly but these first couple of images i actually found over on reddit so we got the white short sleeve t-shirt right here and uh it looks like this reddit user he actually is five foot five and he ordered a size three so uh as you see it's a uh, slightly just a little bit oversized on this young man but uh cool i guess anyway so that's the white joint you features the uh little small vultures logo in black right on the front and then you got the big vultures logo on the back so what are your very first impressions it looks like he described you know the clothing to actually be of like a really good material apparently but i believe all of this stuff was probably manufactured in la apparel as we know um dove the uh owner over at la apparel is now working with yay now, as far as the black joint, this one actually does feature a hidden detail. So once again, salute to my man T3 from the JA Discord. If you guys want to, you know, come rock with us, say what's up. It's a completely free Discord for sneakerheads to join. So 
The link is always down below if you guys want to come through and say what's up. Now, he ordered the black joint, which surprisingly, it looks like the uh, Vultures logo is actually reflective, as you see from the clip here. So that was actually a really cool design detail that I actually had no clue about. Did y'all know about this? So I feel like this should be a surprise for everybody. The black joint goes crazy. So if you had to pick, would you rather go with the white or the black joint and you'll also notice an interesting design detail as as far as the uh, collar around the neck it looks like that's completely cut off to kind of give like a interesting like dystopian type of look so overall the vultures merch wire it's very simple i feel like it's effective you know it's just got the simple logo on there but i really feel like it's really all about the cut so it does feature like a crop look you know a little bit of a wider boxy type of fit so of course it's that yeezy look which as y'all see is now like kind of became the main stream trend so let me know if any of you guys ordered any of the merch did you pick up the yeezy pods personally uh from my experience if you guys watch the channel you should already know i had to pre-order the pods day one but as far as the merch goes i really just passed up on all the merch i wasn't too hype on getting like album merch but um i really kind of stay away from the yeezy merch i mean i really didn't even rock with the balenciaga stuff that much y'all don't kill me i ordered one of the pieces and I felt like the fit, you know, wasn't too flattering on my body. So I just kind of tend to stay away from it. And y'all already know I'm really on that vintage wave anyway. So if I'm not really buying anything that costs like over 20 bucks, everything I'm getting is all vintage, thrifted, cheap type of shit. Cause you know, that's just how I'm rocking right now. So Vultures merch update. These are the very first initial impressions. It looks like anybody hasn't received their pods yet, but uh, it looks like if you did order t-shirts, they should be arriving. If not, uh, you guys want to download the shop app. You guys can check the status, um, but Vultures merch on the way. I can't wait to check out my pods. I think the reviews on that are going to be very interesting. I don't know if people are going to be, you know, disappointed, underwhelmed or what, or maybe the pods will, you know, blow everybody out the water. But I definitely can't wait to check out mine. And uh, it seems like people that did order the pods that are already getting shipper and confirmations are the people that ordered them the very first day they went out for pre-order back on December 16th. But as far as the clothing items goes, it looks like if you order clothes, those will be shipped instantly. So I can't wait to see everybody rocking their Yeezy pods. And it's cool to see everybody rocking their merch as well. And we'll see if we get new merch, if we get a new set of merch or whatever, as we get closer to the album release, which uh, still continues to be delayed but hopefully uh, we'll get some new updates on the album so just wanted to check in with you guys you know give everybody the first initial impression so if any of you guys had copped the merch let us know what you think down below just wanted to check in with you guys for a quick little weekend update which i usually don't do so salute i appreciate everybody for checking in i'm ja make sure you guys stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you guys monday for the latest edition of ja news i'm out y'all love